All right. Uh, we're Cliff and Jeannie Dayton, and we love gadgets. <laughs> and we love being prepared. Uh, this section is on, on heating. As you can see, we don't have quite as many things as we had with the, with, the, uh, with the lights. But there are some, uh, some advantages to some of these heaters, like this Mr. Heater. You can, I, I'm going to put those on. Okay. They take one pound bottles. And, and these are propane. And the nice thing about these is that you can actually use it in the house. Now, if you're in a small room, you want to have a window cracked. But if you're in a large room like this, they are indoor safe. And then it's got a pilot. So the pilot light is going. I don't know if we can see that or not. And then we just turn it to low. It just goes on one side. Turn it to high. And both sides are lit. And this thing puts out a lot of heat. So in the spring, we take this camping with us. I know one time we were camping in May, cool morning. Went and picked up my parents, brought them up for breakfast outside, and so, you know, the older you get, the colder you get. Mm -hmm. So we set this out on the picnic table as they had breakfast, and it kept them nice and cozy. So it also has a switch back here. Turns on a fan, blows out a lot of nice heat. So this is one of my favorites. mention on these bottles these things normally cost anywhere from 350 to four dollars and you can get them at almost anywhere Walmart Swarson's Warehouse Costco lots of different places but it's what I've learned is that there's an adapter that goes on to a propane tank. So you have the big propane tanks. Those hold 20 pounds of propane. And you can fill up a propane tank anywhere from 14 to $20, depending on the price and depending on where you're at. So these things cost an almost $4 for one pound. And let's say I spend $16 for 20 pounds. Well, this fits on the propane tank. That goes on the propane tank. This goes on the bottle. You open up your propane and it throws the propane into here, fills them up. So I've never had to go buy any more of these. I just keep refilling them and it's a fraction of the price. So this is just a, uh, propane refill adapter. I bought that on Amazon for seven bucks. Okay, so the next one is this that you can um, plug in, um, carry it around the house wherever you need to. You can plug it into a little generator and has a nice fan. Now, now heaters, Electric heaters use a lot of power. So this is 1500 watt. But this little battery pack we have here can handle up to 1800. So it, it runs this heater just fine. But if you didn't have something like this for inside, you can always use a generator. This is a Honda 2000 watt. 
The only thing you have to do there is just run it outside, run an extension cord in if you were needing some, some space heaters, if your heater went out. Another good idea is to close things off. Have you a small tent? Have you, you know, like in our situation, we can put plastic across the kitchen here and one of our other heating sources is the wood burning stove. So we can, we've got lots of firewood. Let me turn this off. Okay. Lots of firewood for the stove. Eco bricks. These are just a bunch of compressed wood. And it's what I do is when we're heating the house, is I'll get the stove going, get the fire going good, throw two or three of these eco bricks on, close the damper down a little bit, and they'll burn for a long time. These here are generally two, two fifty a box. And Being you, prices could have yeah. changed a lot. Yeah. These are made locally. Um, I believe uh, the place was like in Springville. Yeah. Is that correct? Yeah, like Barlow's or something in Springville. So. Um, another thing about the stove, the wood burning stove. Um, so Cliff usually makes a fire right in here, <coughs> and um, we can also open this here to add more uh, wood at any time, and then we can cook on top. We, it also has the oven here that we can bake bread, we can bake anything we want. Um, it also has a water jacket over here that it will heat water, and then it has a spigot on the side that you have your hot water. This is a little warming oven to just keep things warm, but this will actually heat this whole main floor and the upstairs and we love it and remind me when we talk about our cooking section to talk about this as well okay yes. Yes. all right so one other heater here same thing as that other one just another electric heater so so the thing is just find heaters that that make sense for you and and make sure you have ways of powering these these heaters uh, if, in case of a power outage. Um, another thing that I really like is just bean bags. Um, you can just make them yourself. Just put beans or wheat or uh, things like that in them. Uh, you can put these in, um, I don't know, a microwave. You could heat it by a, a campfire. Um, in kind of a separate pan and stuff so then you could bring it in the house and put it in your sleeping bag with you or snuggle with it and it really has helped us a lot over the years whenever we go camping i have my heating bag um so is that basically everything for heating i think that's all we have in the way of heating i'm sure there's other ideas out there but this might help some of you get started so...